Hey, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at section shape dividers. A section shape divider allows you to create a visually compelling border between two sections. So let's jump into our section here, and we'll go down to dividers. Let's close our layout section here, and we'll click add item under shape dividers. Here we'll get a number of options, but let's start by choosing a shape. We can choose custom, which allows us to paste in an SVG code. For instance, we could go out to any app or service that generates an SVG code, such as Get Waves, and then we could grab the SVG code from here, copy it, go over to Breakdance, and paste it to get that exact same shape into Breakdance. Let's get rid of that, and we'll take a look at some of the built-in shapes. We have Angle, Balance, Blade, Bracket, cave, and many, many more options here. I personally like the wavy ones here, so let's drop in a wavy one. Now you'll note that this divider doesn't match the color of my site right now, so we can adjust its color as well. Let's grab one of our global colors and drop that in. Now I am gonna go ahead and skip ahead a little bit and adjust the height of this shape divider to maybe 120 pixels so that we can see it a little bit better. Now if we go back up, we have the option to flip this horizontally. You'll note that right now, the highest part of the wave is on the right-hand side of the screen, but if I flip this, it's gonna move that to the left. It just mirrors the shape, basically. This can be useful for getting a lot of variety out of one shape, or if you're moving it from the top and the bottom, which I'll show you next, with the position control, where we can choose to have it along the top, which is the default, or we can move it to the bottom, which is what we want in this case. We can also adjust the width. Generally, you're gonna to wanna to keep this at at least 100% width, but you can go bigger. For instance, if I want this shape to be a little bit more subtle, I can make it really big, like 300%, which is gonna get me kind of a more gentle curve. And I think that looks pretty good, so we'll leave it like that. The next option I'll be able to show you in just a minute here, let me adjust this text color to something like a light purple. And then we'll go back to our shape divider and we're gonna adjust the height here. So we'll go back up to say 300 pixels, maybe 400, because I want it to overlap our text. Now, this next option allows us to move the shape divider into the foreground. If we turn this on, you'll see that our text moves behind the shape divider. This can be used creatively to achieve some pretty interesting results. Let's just duplicate this once. We'll go down to the next shape divider. We'll turn this option off. Then we'll make it a little bit taller, maybe 500. And then we can adjust the color and maybe reduce the opacity a bit. So now you can see we get this kind of effect where the text is in between two shape dividers. Let's delete this extra shape divider for now. And let's turn off the display in front of content option. So that's how to configure an individual shape divider, but you can have multiple shape dividers per section. To illustrate that, let's go ahead and, instead of having a shape divider in our top section, above our darker background section, we'll actually put some shape dividers in the darker background section. Let's adjust this text color back to our brand color, and let's go to this section. Now we're gonna add two shape dividers. So let's go down to the divider section and add one, We'll configure it really quickly. Let's choose something like round border. That looks pretty cool. And then we will adjust the color. Now, since it's bordering a white section, let's go ahead and just make this white. Once that's done, we can play with the positioning and flip it horizontally if we'd like. We can adjust the width. Let's make it 100% and then just kind of move that up a little bit to get a different effect. And I think the height is okay, but we could make it a little less pronounced by reducing the height. But for this, I think we'll keep it at the default. And we don't wanna display it in front of our content. So now we have this shape divider created. We want another one at the bottom of the section. So let's duplicate that. And all we have to do for this effect is go down to the second shape divider and set it to show up along the bottom of the section. Now that's pretty cool, but I also wanna flip this horizontally. And now you can see the effect we get is pretty neat and it helps to break up the sometimes boxy layout you can get with websites when you don't have anything breaking up these borders between sections. And note, we're not limited to a specific number of shape dividers, so I could continue adding different shape dividers with different shapes and overlaying them until I got the effect that I liked. So if I turn this to white, and then I could reduce the height a lot, 
and we get that kind of overlapping effect, which serves to break up even the shape of the shape divider. You can also achieve some interesting effects by layering shape dividers with different opacities. So let's duplicate that, and then let's go to this one and reduce the height even more. And now you see you get kind of a 3D effect. So again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at shape dividers. Thank you for watching.